There are three theories about the fate of the non-saved after death. 1. Eternal Hell. 2. Annihilation cease to exist. 3. Salvation of all people eventually. In this video we will show that the first is not biblical. It exists only in the translations, not in the Greek New Testament. For example, Matthew 25, 46. These will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. In the Greek, kaia pelozonta iutoi eis kolasin aionion, oi dedikaioi eis zoen aionion. The word we need to study is aionion, here in the accusative case, that's why this termination here, alpha iota omega ni, iota omicron ni, translated as eternal here. Almost all translations translates Ionion as eternal in this verse, or everlasting. Only Weymouth translates of the ages and Young's literal, age during. In the nominative case it is Ionios, Alpha Iota Omega Ni, Iota Micron Sigma. It appears in 165 verses of the New Testament and in 721 verses of the Septuagint. The Septuagint is a translation of the Old Testament into Greek Koine made in the 3rd century before Christ. Ionius appears with many inflections depending on the case, gender and number. For example, Ionius is nominative singular feminine. Ionos is genitive singular masculine. Iona accusative singular masculine. Ionas accusative plural masculine. Ionion accusative singular feminine, and so on. The cases can be exemplified in this English uh, phrase John gave Catherine's book to Anthony. John is the subject, and the, it is the case nominative. Catherine's here imply, implies uh, ownership. This is the case genitive. Gave what? The book. So the book is the object, and the object is the case accusative. Gave the book to whom? To Anthony. This is the case dative. So there is many inflections or terminations, but the first four letters are the root of the word. These don't change. The root, alpha, iota, omega, ni. In the previous example, Matthew 25, 46, Ionius was translated as everlasting and eternal. But there are verses where eternal just don't fit the contest. It wouldn't make any sense. On those cases, Ionius is translated as world and coarse sometimes. And there is the expression, this eternity like there is more than one. For example, Matthew 13, 22. He also that received seed among the thorns is he that hear the word, but the care of this world and the deceitfulness of the riches chuck the word and it became unfruitful. Tu Ionus tutu. Tutu means this, tu is the article. Ionus was translated world because in this context it would be impossible to translate with any word that means a time without end. Uh, he also that received seed among the thorns is he that hear the word, but the care of this eternity and the deceitfulness of riches, this eternity would not make sense. Another example, Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Tu Ioni Tutu, translated world Ioni, because it could not be translated with any word that means endless time, and be not conformed to this eternity, would not make sense. Another example, 1 Corinthians 1.20, where is the wise, where is the scribe, where is the disputer of this world? Tu Ionos Tutu, Ionos was translated world because it could not be translated with eternity or everlasting. Where is the wise, where is the scribe, where is the just putter of this eternity would not make sense. 1 Corinthians 2, 2, 2, 8 
which none of the princes of this world knew. Tu Ionos Tutu. World here don't mean the planet, it means a uh, time, a, t a finite time, our time. So it's not too bad a word. But certainly eternity could not be used here to translate Ionos, which none of the princes of this eternity knew. Ephesians 2.2 2, Where in time pass you walk according to the course of this world. Course, I only was translated here as course, because there is cosmo, that indeed means world. So they could not use world here, because it would be according to the world of this world. So I only was translated as course, because it really means a finite time. Right? So sometimes the world uh, fits, sometimes they have to find another word that means a finite time, or a state of things. Eternity could not be used. A walk according to the eternity of this world. How can a word mean eternal and everlasting, and at the same time world and course, and this eternity like there is more than one? There is also the expression present eternity. For example, in Galatians 1.4, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world. Enestotos Ionos. Enestotos means present, and Ionos was translated world, because it could not be translated eternity. That he might deliver us from this present evil eternity would not make sense. Another example. Second, Timothy 4.10. For Demas had forsaken me, having loved this present world. Nun Iona. Nun also means present. And Iona was translated world, and it could not be translated eternity. For Demas had forsaken me, having loved this present eternity. Titus 2.12 Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Nun Ioni, Ioni translated world, because it could not be translated eternity. And godly in this present eternity. You see, Ioni cannot be translated with any word that means an endless time in all these examples, and there is a lot more. It does not make sense to say present eternity or this eternity. In English, eternity means an endless time, thus can be only one. The reason why there is the expression present Ionius and this Ionius is that Ionius does not mean a time without end. And there is, it is even more clear because there is this expression end of the Ionius. For example, in Matthew 13, 39, the enemy that sow it then is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the world. Sinteleia tu Ionos, translated, the end of the world. Sinteleia means entire complexion, consummation, end. So, end of the Ionos. It could not be translated with a word that means endless time, because there is the end here. The end of the eternity. So, this kind of eternity that the, is referring in this translation, this, uh, this would be translation, would mean something else, because if it is endless time, it cannot, be, cannot have end, right? The end of the time without end. So, it was translated world, that he, here means a finite time, a time of end. No problem. Another example, Matthew 13, 40. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. De sinteleia tu Ionos tutu. Again, sinteleia tu to Ionos. End of the Ionios. It cannot be translated, so shall it be, in the end of this eternity. Eternity would mean something else if it was done. Matthew 13, 49. So shall it be at the end of the world. Sinteleia tu Ionos. Just another example of the same thing. It could not be translated the end of the eternity in Matthew 13, 49 either. Another example, Matthew 24, 3. 
As he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? Sintelaeus tu Ionos? Again, could not be translated, and of the end of the eternity. Matthew 28, 20 Teach then to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you away, even into the end of the world. Amen. Te sintelea tu Ionos. Translated, the end of the world. Here is the King James Version. But uh, it could not be translated, I am with you away, even into the end of the eternity. 1 Corinthians 10, 11. And they are writing for our demonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Tele also means end. It's synonymous with Sintelea. The dictionary of Strong says, The point aimed at as a limit, by implication the conclusion of an act or state, termination, end, ending, finally, uttermost. And it is plural, accusative, plural, neutral. And Ionon, with this inflection here, the ending with the omega ni, is also plural. So it should be worlds, the ends of the worlds, but certainly should not, cannot be the ends of the eternities. Hebrews 9.26 For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world, but now once in the end of the world, Sintelea ton Ionum, again in the plural, genitive plural masculine, Ionum. End of the worlds could be, but could not be end of the eternities. Ionum cannot be translated as eternities here. End of Ionius leaves no room for doubt. Ionius does not mean eternal, and endless time or everlasting. A good translation for Ionius is age. As Ionius, age means an undetermined but finite time and with a typical characteristics like, for example, age of the radio, a few decades from 1920 to 1950, age of empires, a few centuries, age of bronze, age of iron, etc. The Septuaginta is a translation into Greek Koine of the Old Testament, made in the 3rd century before Christ. In Exodus 15, 18, it says, Kyrios Basileon ton Iona, Kaiepi Iona, Kaieti. So, again, the word Iona, and this word Eti, that means more yet. A good translation would be, the Lord reigns age over age and more. So, there is many ages. Here is a suggestion. The division of history could be different, but just to exemplify the meaning of Ionius here. Uh, for starting in Adam until Noah, the Deluge, the, uh, one Ionius, then it starts another Ionius in Noah and uh, up to Jesus. We can note that the disciples were expecting the end of an age with Jesus, right? And indeed, the, uh, the, the age that started with the Deluge was ending with the first coming of Jesus, and start another Ionius. Uh, that will uh, last until the second coming of Jesus. This is the Ionius that we are living in. The second coming starts another, another Ionius with the, the first resurrection. Jesus came, comes and uh, there is the first resurrection and starts the millennium. This Ionius will last a thousand years, a millennium. At the end of the millennium, there will be the resurrection of the non-saved, and they will go to the fire. But, of course, fire is not literal. I think what the, uh, this word means is related with the purification of uh, the metals, like gold and silver. They melt the metals because in the liquid state, the impurities uh, floats, because these metals are very heavy and the impurities floats to the surface and it's easy to take it off. So the meaning of fire is not the just suffering, it's purification. But uh, this is another topic. What we want to emphasize and discuss here is just about 
the duration of this fire is, is for another Ionios, not forever. The word used is Ionios. Uh, the, of the, the, those three theories, we are uh, trying to show you that the first cannot be uh, a good uh, translation, a good interpretation. Uh, we are not discussing the two others, just the first. And there, there is the, the expression uh, Zoen Ionios. Maybe you are asking yourself, but if Ionios does not mean eternal, then Zoe Ionios, translated as eternal life, also does not mean endless life. The answer is that the expression Zoe Ionios is not saying anything about the duration of the life of Ionios. This expression is used to refer to a blessed life in the next age, after the resurrection. We know that it will be forever because other verses say so, like for example Luke 20, 35-36. I chose this verse not because it is the best to prove this point, but because it's very clear. We, we are trying to focus only in the word Ionius, the duration of the punishment after death for the non saved In Luke 20, 35, But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that vote and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage, neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. If they cannot die any more, of course, this life will be forever. So, Examples of uh, how Ionius should be translated. This is just a few examples, just to, to, to show translating now without considering Ionius as meaning an endless time. 2 Thessalonians 1 9. Here, as it is in the King James Version, who shall be punished, punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Oletron Ionion. Oletron means uh, ruin, death, punishment, to destroy. It can mean a lot of things. I will choose to, to translate with ruin. Who shall be punished with ruin in the age to come, from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. To come is in brackets because it is not here in the Greek, but we know it is a future age, right? So ruin, some some uh, damage in the age to come, right? Not total destruction. Another example, Jude 1 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the seats about them in like manner, giving themselves over fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Here is how it is in the King James Version. Pyrrhus fire, Ionio, deacon. Deacon means right justice, a decision of the accord or its uh, execution. Pyrrhus means fire, right? Uh, it, uh, the word purification comes from this word. And Ionio in the genitive case translated as eternal. But it, uh, we saw that uh, we cannot translate this word as eternal or everlasting or endless time. It is clear a finite time. So a uh, suggested translation it would be suffering the penalty of the fire of that age. Because here it seems to be a past age, the, the age of Sodom and Gomorrah, right? And so th that is not here in the Greek, in, into brackets, and uh, but uh, to indicate the age that was talking about in the four uh, uh, previous words, right? Ma another example, Matthew 25, 46, in the King James is, Then shall he sow also into them on the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels, as to pure fire to Ionion. Should be translated, depart from me, ye cursed, into the fire of the age to come, prepared for the devil and his angels. To come is not here in the Greek, 
but we know is a, a future age so it's good to clarify that first verse that you used in this video Matthew 25 46 and this shall go away into everlasting punishment but the righteous into life eternal Colassinia Ionion Colassin means penal inflection punishment should be translated since we saw that Ionion cannot be translated as eternal nor everlasting and this shall go away into punishment in the age to come but the righteous into life in the age to come so please thumbs up share subscribe